evening. It is the end of day four. This is my diary entry um, of the day. Oh, it's been a really long day. It's been a really, really long day. But um, we're going to get through it. Okay, so I woke up late, feeling kind of bad, but I know it's because I haven't eaten today. My fuel is low. No physical touch is getting personal. I'm okay with no sex, but I can't hug my son when he needs it. We are very close and he opens up to me. Um, we have this thing that sometimes if we don't want to talk about it, we hug it out. So I know I'm depriving myself, but am I also doing it to him? One side of me wants to question if it's fair and the other wants to teach him self-discipline. That you won't always like or feel comfortable about things you need to do to make you a better person. Um, Yeah, that's, that's really him personal. Like I said, I'm really close to my son. I don't have the thing where I think my son is my husband or nothing like that. But that's my son. That's my baby. He's still, he, yeah, he's 15. And I, when we're in public and I'm around him, I treat him as his age. But I know, you you know what I mean. That's my, that's my baby. So that's a lot of our relationship. We do have physical touch. Like I'll go up to him randomly and I'll scratch his head. Or I'll ask him, is he okay? And I'll rub his back. Or if he's feeling some type of way, I'll give him a hug. The other day, we was Instacarting, and I think something had happened um, with one of his friends, and he wanted to hug. And he went to hug me, and he was like, oh, shoot, I can't hug you. And I felt so bad. I felt so horrible. I think that was maybe the number one thing that made me want to quit the fast, that I want to quit. I don't want to quit, but you know what I mean? I don't know. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a day. Today is not um, a good day. I don't know. <sighs> Where was I? Um, I had a really strong moment that I needed some wine and to smoke, but I went to give me a smoothie. Yeah. That didn't just happen once. I can count at least five times today where I had a really, really strong moment. I have a strong moment right now. Right now my friend is in there she has wine she has weed um i have somebody literally texting my phone right now wanting me to just come lay over and watch movies i'm ignoring all of it yeah um back to my entry um i was with a friend of mine and she was drinking wine and smoking well i kind of just told y'all about that i didn't break my fast one time i still haven't broken my fast I only got an hour left in the day, and I am still heading off strong. No matter how I feel, I'm still not going to break. You cannot you cannot only do something when it feels good to you. You cannot only do something when you're happy about it. You have to be consistent. That's what gets results. You only doing it when you being emotional. It's not going to work. You will never be successful. Never. Um. Let me see. As a matter of fact, I went to the same store and bought me two smoothies. I did. Actually, um, I need to drink my other one. Fin well, finish drinking. I started it. I need to finish it because my stomach is grumbling a little bit. I'm so super proud of myself. I am. Even though I feel crappy, I'm still very proud of myself. As well as my energy is still so super high. It is. I've been running around like a crackhead today. And it's almost like a constant sugar rush exactly my nose is still super sensitive right now yeah um the story i was telling y'all about just previously i don't know about y'all um liquor stores or how it's made but the liquor store particularly we went to it also had a restaurant in it soul food um i don't even eat that stuff because none of it is vegan but it looked so super appetizing they had mashed potatoes which is my favorite i am the g bubble shrimp of potatoes sauteed fried buttered mashed as long as it's not a sweet potato i don't do the sweet potatoes but regular potatoes wedges crinkled steak come on now it's you i don't feel like you can really go wrong with potatoes you can't like is is it and it's so versatile and let me stop getting it. okay anyway but anyway like i was saying um and so she wanted me to go in there she wanted me to go in there to get her some meatballs rice and gravy i think that was her order and then for a second thought she wanted greens they end up not having the rice or whatever just got the meatballs whole thing 
But yeah, the stuff that they had, the little mashed potatoes had cheese and bacon, and it looked so ooey gooey. And then they had fried chicken and baked chicken, and they just had yams. I don't even like yams. I don't even like yams. But the yams was yamming. They looked like they was yamming. Okay. And I came outside and I told her, I was like, um, can you go in there and do it yourself? Because I'm on this cleanse and I'm not, I don't want to eat it, but it's making me uncomfortable. You know, the fact that I don't even eat this stuff and it's tempting me to eat it. Like my temptation is strong right now. She didn't do it. She was just like, no, can you please just go get the food? And I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what was that? At? Um, and my nose is super sensitive, right? Yeah, I, I just smell everything. I smell all the weed. I can smell weed so strong. I can smell food strong. Yeah, my nose is super sensitive. Um, I love the no sex part as well. Here is why. Even though I've only had one partner within the last two years, and not only that, but I've only been in one relationship my whole life. Um... I'm not saying I've only had two partners. I've only been in one relationship. That was for six years. And then um, after a period of me being single, I was just basically had like, yeah, 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 for two years. Just one person. Now that that's over, um, that's another reason why I'm doing the cleanse. Because that, now that that's over, I need to get everything out of my system. Um, I love now that there is no pressure to do anything. Like, when you're just chilling with somebody, you sitting there, and you're like, I know this person is going to try to make a move, or he's going to want me to come over, and he's going to start kissing on me, and then I might give in to it. And, you know, there's none of that, because I'm not physically involved with no one. With no one. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I'm not even touching myself. I'm not. Um, I'm restrained from all types of sexual activity whatsoever. There is none of that. So I feel like a huge weight is being lifted off my shoulders because anybody from this point on that I talk to, I can actually get to know you the way I really like to do. There's no sex. And I find that if you really have emphasis on it, then I don't need to talk to you, which makes it a lot easier. And a lot of times, like people regret sleeping with somebody because you don't get to know who that person is. And then once you do, it's too late. I'm not saying I can't change later, but I just, I don't know. I feel safer. I feel more content. I can literally just go over to my house and chill with them. And I know nothing's going to happen. I don't have to talk myself out of it. I don't have to feel bad afterwards that I did something. I feel so much better. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but my determination to finish is so, so super strong. I feel bad about just thinking about cheating and quitting. I do. They try to pass me the blunt. I said, no. I Did I think about it? Absolutely. But it was just something in my stomach. It was just something inside me that was just like, no, I don't want to break. I don't want to break. I just don't want to. Yeah, it's hard, but I don't want to break. I want to do my whole 100 days. I want to do the whole cleanse. I don't understand why that's so hard. Um, Pros. Today's pros. That's my picture of the day. And then, oh, yeah, then afterwards, I have my little video y'all y'all gonna listen <sighs> i know you lie anyway pros urination has lower and bowels are regular yeah i still go a little bit more frequently than usual urination goes but it definitely has decreased by day four by day four is following suit with bowels bowels are regular back to regular which i love because i'm not raw anymore i don't have to constantly go to the bathroom none of that it's amazing um my energy is very high i probably mentioned that like twenty thousand times i'm not sleeping as often especially now that i'm not smoking yeah everyone around me knows that once i start smoking i'm going to sleep i don't know if me getting older or what but it could be middle of day i'm gonna smoke i'm gonna go to sleep but night, i'm gonna smoke i'm gonna go to sleep I can be out partying, I'm smoke, I'm going to sleep. And I constantly, constantly, constantly smoke. So it's like I'm always sleepy. The friend I'm telling you about, I can be riding with her. And we we smoking, driving around. And then she look over and I'm asleep. It happens all the time. I, I can't name on one hand how many times that's happened. She actually has a pet peeve about me going to sleep. She's like, she can't take me nowhere to hang out or nothing. Because by the time we get there, I'm going to be asleep. 
it is what it is. Um, where was I? Oh, I'm at a point where being on the cleanse is being pushed to the that's supposed to say back. Um, back of my mind. It it is. At first I was I had it on the pedestal, which is the next line. I'm taking it off the pedestal and it's helping me stay focused so much more. I am I am taking it off the pedestal. At first it was such a big deal. Like, oh my god, I'm going on a hundred days. I need to do this. I need to get my mind clear. But now I'm like, eh, yeah, I'm gonna cleanse. Yep. Yep, just not doing this, not doing that. At first I used to like them indulge and do this, da da da. Nope, yep, I'm gonna cleanse. Yep, smoothie. Yep, smoothie. Yep, do the yep. That's all. That's it. And I love this part because everything is starting to calm down now. The excitement is gone. Now I can just pursue and persist and do what I need to do. Um, cons. As you see, I only have one thing for cons um today, which is amazing. I'm still slightly tempted, but not nearly as much. Yep. When I first started, I would say if my cravings were at a 10, which is, what's the 10 for me for cravings? That I almost forget that I'm on the cleanse. That's that's a 10 to me. If I'm looking at this food so hard, I forget that I'm fasting. That's a 10 to me. So I would say today my cravings were probably, I would say between the 6 and 8. Uh, yeah, 6 and 8. Yeah. Highest today, 8. Lowest today, 6. Unless I'm not thinking about it at all. Um, picture of the day. Like I said, I don't, this, I don't know. But yeah, friend's house, so don't mind yourself in the background, because it's not my house. Anyway, so, picture of the day. Like I said, I'm taking one picture of myself every single day. I can really start to tell that I'm losing water weight. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I could tell, and I'm loving it. Um, My stomach isn't as big. It's not. Uh, my waist is going in a little bit more. Um, where else can I tell? That's about it. Me, it's only been four days, so it's not going to be a huge, 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 huge difference. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So guys, I have to go because someone I'm being summoned. All right. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I gotta hurry up with this video because apparently the people is taking a long time and people want to talk and people want to do all this other stuff. I'm trying to make my one video of the day, but yeah. Um, do I have anything to catch y'all up on? Uh, I don't think so. Not really. Today's message is really a thank you to y'all. I didn't expect so many people to follow me along with my journey of my 100 days, which y'all are so encouraging. I really appreciate it. People I've never met before is encouraging me to go so much and so after this i'm going to include the drinks of today and then i think before this you see my diary entry so um is there anything specially that i need to say other than that no uh, i didn't really make any smoothies today other than this very mor morning but again i don't upload my videos to the later at night so um the one video i'm sorry the other smoothies that i did have i bought them as you can hear, people are very rude in the background. I've told them several times to put the music down, but they keep putting it back up. So if they keep playing their music, I can't finish the video. So I'm just going to end this here. I hope you guys have a good night. Bye. Okay, so I came to the car because I can't get any um, silence in the house. And this is not, this actually has nothing to do with the plans at all. It's just you see how people can be when you're trying to better yourself and you're trying to do something of worthiness. Couldn't wait one minute, two minutes to start playing loud ass music in the background. I am now sitting in my car. As you can tell, it's dark as hell outside. I kind of got my car light on, but 
it's, it's not that bright um but at least it's silent but yeah so i had to come to my car to say this i did want to say something else but i don't, I don't even feel like doing it anymore and i know it's like don't let these like people get you down or um ruin your mood but it's just like people who are supposed to be your friends right when you tell them ahead of time that you're trying to do something better for yourself and for people like that you've known for a long time not be there that's encouraging it's really disappointing and honestly it hurts my feelings a lot um it's like just because you're not doing nothing or whatever you're doing with your life i'm not saying you're not doing nothing but whatever you're doing with your life is not on the same thing. So, I don't understand. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Yeah, I guess I just came to the car to say that little tidbit. But I'm trying to apologize to you all um, for today being such not a good video, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, I did, the, I guess, the best I can today. I don't want to change my emoji. I don't want to let, excuse me, I don't want to let that situation change how I feel my entire day. I mean, my mood's been up and down. I've been hyper the whole day, but my mood's been so up and down. I've been frustrated most of the day today. And then I'm around these people, right? I have enough restraint to where I'm not smoking, I'm not drinking, but they're trying to push me so much. Like, why does it matter that you're not drinking wine? You smoke weed all the time. Why does that matter? It has nothing to do with losing weight. I keep telling them constantly, it's not just about me losing weight. I'm cleaning everything out of my system. I'm cleaning bad food out of my system. I'm cleaning bad products out of my system. I'm cleaning bad spirits out of my system. Like, what part of that don't y'all understand? I, I don't get what y'all don't get. And everything that is not a, a a purpose for y'all. Like, I was just telling somebody in the house that I have complete strangers just encouraging me. They don't, they're not asking details. They're not berating me with all these other questions. And then, and then I have people who I've known most of my life who don't believe in what I'm doing. It's just a hundred day cleanse. Y'all act like I'm trying to change the world. Y'all act like I'm trying to run for president or something. And the thing is, I'm not exactly trying to involve y'all. I'm not saying, oh, you got to do this. You got to do... No, this is just what I'm doing. So respect what I'm doing. Why people can't just respect my own space of what I'm doing? I guess the best bet would for me to go to my house. But I never would have thought that this would be such a problem. And then, like they're, not, they're now laughing, right? I think it's funny. That I can't make my video. They think it's funny. But I take this serious. I take my life serious. That's probably why y'all think it's funny. Because y'all will never have enough self-discipline to go on a cleanse the way I am. I don't know. But I just know that made me extremely uncomfortable. But now that I'm upset, I promise you when I go back in there, they're going to call me sensitive and emotional. And all this other crap. And it's just like, I just asked y'all for two minutes. The whole rest of the night, y'all can do whatever. Y'all been doing whatever all day. I just said, can I have just like two minutes so I can do this video? I literally told them exactly what I need to do. And as y'all heard, I couldn't even get that. So, um, maybe I am emotional because this is one of the times I'd be like, well, I just need to get some wild real quick, grow me a blunt, chill out and be somewhere. That's what I want to do. I want to go to White Castle, give me some impossible sliders, no cheese, everything else a sack of fries a medium onion chip and um a medium peach sprite yeah that's what i want then i want to go to the store give me a bottle of wine roll me a blunt and sit in my car but those are old habits from my old me oh and then drive to the east side because i'm nick so I can get all this emotional stuff out of my system. But I'm not. And I refuse. Um, I'm dealing with my own emotions now. And they're really raw right now. It's only day four. It's literally only day four. What's going on? I don't. <sighs> day four. 96 more to go. Yeah. 
so um I didn't think that I would have to cut out socializing with people that are this close to me. I thought that if I just cut out sociali- socializing on the surface, that I just cut out socializing, that that would be enough. But apparently, I don't have a peace of mind. Apparently, this isn't something that is good for me. I can literally hear the music coming from now. And then when I go off on it, they like, oh, no, it's this person, this person. This person. Y'all seen the meme with Spider-Man of everybody pointing at each other? That's literally what's going on now. Oh, he wanted me to play it, but oh, she turned it up. Oh, but he suggested the song. Y'all grown, y'all. We all at 30. I got called a cougar today. We... That was that was a little more, that's some different disorder. Anyway, yeah. The point is just that we all grown. We all grown. Um I don't know. Welcome to my TED Talk. I don't know. My feelings are really hurt. They're really hurt. But um I am not going to cover it up with the things I said that I wasn't going to partake in. It, it's just no one believes in me that I'm, I am I can do it. I, <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe it's the fact that this one particular person don't believe in me that I can do it. And it's like it's not even that hard. If you can't believe I can do this, then what else do you doubt me what else do you believe that I can't do? Why are you believing so hard that I can't do something? Why aren't you sitting here encouraging me? Because everything you do, I encourage you. No matter what you do, how many times you want to say you want to go on a diet, I'm there with you every time. Every time you go back and forth between this person, that person, that person, that person I'm a friend to you. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, y'all have a good night. Um, I think I'm finna just spend some more time in my car. I don't feel like being around them right now. I don't feel like explaining to them why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I honestly just think I should go home. Yeah. But, um, like I said, I'll talk to y'all another time. Okay, last, last, last little tidbit, right? Um, I'm thinking about getting one of these. Uh, they come in different colors. Uh, and they have different kinds. I'm sorry I'm going so fast. But, like, I've had one of these before. This one right here. Uh, it's more portable, which is easier. I can just pre-make them I guess and take it with me or like some type of ninja type of thing yeah I'm I think I might get one of these these are the blender cups so I would just put my smoothie in a cup take the blender with me and I could just make it right then I'll probably have like a lunch bag full of like ice and fruit and whatnot and or i uh, Actually, actually, let me scratch that. What I really want to do is to pre-make my smoothies, which means get like the Ziploc bag and stuff whatever I need in there and then take like a juice with me. And then with these, when I'm ready, I put it my fruit, vegetables, and my juice or whatever else I need to put in there, whether it's ginger, herbs, whatever, um, in there, ginseng, and blend it and it'll be fresh. It'll be fresh right then. So I'm thinking about thinking about thinking about doing that. Um I honestly can't think about doing anything until I pay this car off. Um he only charged me a thousand for it, but I'm on the payment plan, unfortunately. Um so after I pay him, which is gonna take me about two weeks. <sighs> Sorry guys. That's the people in the house. Anyway, so after um I pay off my car 
and I get a couple things fixed on the car, uh, I think I want to invest in one of these. It's not that much. It's not. But I think I might want more of, sorry, I think I might want more of like the ninja style to where it comes with multiple cups. And then I can just dump whatever I need in there, take it with me. Hopefully it's portable. That's really what I want is for it to be portable for I don't have to worry about plugging it up anywhere. Okay, well, listen, they apparently did not about to stop calling me to go back in the house. So I'm sorry, I gotta leave you guys for, I'm sorry. I gotta leave you guys for the night. I'm about to go back in the house, talk to you whenever, about whatever.